Yo, how's it going, my quarantine learners? It's your boy, Neil Solano, a.k.a. Vapuru. And what I got for you guys today is creating a GED account. Now, before anything, before we continue, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It's going to go a long ways to help all of us out, but mostly so that you can get the notifications on any videos. So what I want you guys to do is open up the internet, go to Google, at the top, type in GED.com. Okay, once you guys do that, at the top right hand corner, what you're going to do is click on sign up. What I want you to do is type in an email that you actually have access to. Okay, because at the end of all of this, once we actually get our GED, we're going to need to get into our email account so that we can open up the a couple emails that they send us, that GED sends us. So we got to make sure we have actual entrance into the email. So please type in an email and as for the password what I want you to put I want you to put my password that I'm giving you right now because I need access to this what is going to be is pass 2020 with no caps okay the next page is all on you it's gonna ask for your name your address all this just make sure down below under terms and conditions you type in yes you accept the next page um, pretty straightforward just type in a uh, phone number if you don't have one uh, find somebody that does it doesn't really matter or even make it up who cares but don't type in any of the yeses there push continue over here what you're gonna put is no we do not care for this don't even worry about it just type in no and then push continue but now we come into an extremely important section so here if you are 19 or above just push no if you are 16 17 or 18 you have to push yes you are currently enrolled in high school all right and what you are then going to put is yes you are in the GED test options program you guys are going to be part of my open doors class which is why we need to push that this is extremely important so push and continue the next thing you're going to do when they ask you are you interested in attending GED classes you will put in yes then push continue scroll down until you see Renton Technical College. That's going to be the class they're going to enroll because I'm a Renton Technical College employee. You got to push select, scroll on down on the main page, push continue and move on. All right, do you need modified testing, aka accommodations, for the day of your test? Some of you probably have IEPs from high school. Um, you guys are probably going to need this, but for now, I want you to push no because if we do need to get you some accommodations you and me are going to have to um, talk independently and get all the paperwork necessary we got to submit it it's going to be a time delay but right now because we're trying to get our gd account so we can start pre-testing and studying we want to push no then push continue my friends so from this point forward just very quickly uh, we don't care about the rest of the stuff just push get started all right, just click on anything. I don't really care. Language arts. It doesn't really matter. Click ASAP. Like I said, it doesn't really matter. And then push OK. And then this is going to be your main page right here. This is your GED account. In the future, always go to GED.com. You'll type it. You'll push in log in instead of sign up. And then you'll enter your credentials, your email, your password, and it'll take you here all the time. All right. So now we do have this age alert right here, which I have to clear for you if you're under 19. So if you're 16, 17, or 18, you will have this age alert. Don't try to debate the system. Don't try to, when you're going to put your date of birth, when creating the account, do not try to make yourself older because the testing center will um, check your ID. And if it doesn't match your GED account, they'll turn you away. They're strict, okay? So because of that age alert, we can't actually schedule for the test. As you can see here, it's grayed out. I got to this page by clicking on my scores at the top. We see here that and when, we, when we're ready to go schedule a test, it's grayed out. We can't, which is why I need access to your account because I need to clear that alert so that we could actually schedule if we're ready to test. But no biggie because that'll go by quick. And in the time being, what we can be doing is if we scroll down below, we have the pretest sections here. These are the $6 pretests. There is a $6 pretest for language arts, social studies, science, and math. And what's cool about this is that you can take that once you create the GED account, it will cost six bucks, which we could pay for it. 
if you're under uh, our if you're enrolled in our class you can do all the enrollment processes uh, but yeah these will give us a score just like the real GED test scores would give you it'll tell us whether you're eligible to pass if you want to go take the real test or if you need to work on some stuff and the cool thing is this will tell me what we need to work on so these are the my score section you can go to study if you'd like and you could go to study material and go um, more in depth into each subject test so if we type if we clicked on language arts very quick um, we could scroll down and we could look at all this stuff over here it'll give you if you click on reading for meaning it'll give you a couple examples on uh, passages that looks like the multiple choice answers um, why that's the answer and like um, you know just gives you a quick rundown um, if we go back to study right next to study materials we have preview the test these are cool 10 question free pre-tests so these are the four subject tests you can click on anything like language arts and then you could start it just don't forget to accept and then it takes you into a little free pretest, which with only ten questions. Now these are cool because this is, um, in case you have, in case you're not sure of the answer, you can click up top, answer explanation, and it will explain why that answer was correct or wrong. Um, the cool thing is that this um, is gives you an example of how the real test is going to look like. What you're seeing here is how the real test will look like, you guys. It's blue, it's cut off just like this with the questions on the side. It also has the flag for review button at the top. That button is if you don't if you're kind of stuck on this question, you could flag it, move on, and then at the end of the test if you have more time, it'll you can go through all the questions that you flagged to see um, whether you want to switch your answer or give it more time. So, this is everything related to the GD account. Please make sure you guys, you have an ID or a passport that isn't expired or a driver's license, whichever, but we need to make sure we have that first before we could ever even test. So it's cool that we create the GED account. It's cool that we're studying, but if it gets to the point where we are ready to go test, all that would be a waste of time because you don't have a form of ID. The testing administrators need to see a form of ID, so please try to get that as quick as possible. So, hope this wasn't too complicated. Hope you guys enjoyed. And again, if you have any questions, there's a comment section below or you can reach out to me. Um, but yeah, hope this wasn't too hard. Hope this was helpful. And I'll see you guys on the other side. Peace.